Welcome back everyone, Ruben aka Yoshi here with another Clubhouse Adventures and today we're going to go ahead and try to do the challenge of get to mission 14 as quickly as possible. This is going to be the first speedrun ever recorded on YouTube for this game. And so pretty much this is going to be a team effort and we're going to go ahead and start with mission 1 right here. And we pretty much completed it pretty quickly right here with 2 minutes 24 seconds and right there we're going to go ahead and complete. Did mission 2 and pretty much that was easy to do just because it counts as your total kills for some reason. But from that point on we went ahead to go with mission 3 and since I'm such a high ranker, high level, I have a lot of killer turrets so I decided to use killer turrets to go ahead and pass these waves as quickly as possible. And right here you see me actually placing up and getting ready for mission 4. And right here you're going to see me select mission 3 and then select mission 4 right off the bat. Pretty much that was pretty simple. Right after that, for you guys that don't know how we're doing it so quickly, we pretty much go to a different team. Once we click on a different banner, we're able to get that XP, but sometimes we do have to wait for other people to join our team in order to get it because if there's one person left on that team, it's gonna take a little bit of time like you see right here. And it took us about like maybe five more seconds on top of that. So once those five seconds passed, we were ready to select the next one. And since there was a total of 500 kills, it is glitched. We decided to do that one first, pretty simple. And right here we decided to do survive 200 waves and big shout out to genji for going ahead and escaping to 302 his highest wave really do appreciate it and the 2500 kills glitched as well and so from this point on we decided to do the missions and unfortunately uh this mission right here which was level up as five times it took me a long time there is a glitch to do it where if you leave and join back in a public lobby sometimes it does count for the gate uh for your levels and unfortunately for us it didn't work and to be fair i don't exactly know how to do this so due to that i was unable to do it and this was actually the one that took the longest out of every single one this one actually took the longest and you'll see right here luckily the bunker mission was still going so we decided to do the bunker mission because there is a glitch i'll put a link in the description down here but as you can see right here 35k for not having the double xp but i do have the double xp so i got 75k there and this did help me out going throughout uh th throughout the levels and right here you can see me having another little bit not as much but it did give us 54k about and then from this point on we decided to take a little sit down break as you guys can see the time it's already been an hour 37 minutes this mission right here took the longest and we decided to go ahead and relax a little bit here but unfortunately it was going so slow and it took so long however we were able to complete it after like a long long time but as you guys can see right here this was the average that we would get about 15k without the double xp that was the average however we were able to uh get it and we pretty much we selected it and we decided to do mission 10. i tried to glitch that one as well but unfortunately it wasn't able to glitch however we did get up to four levels for that one and as soon as we got up to four levels it somehow glitched so thankful to that and so we decided to do the 5k went back to the bunker mission completed it selected it and we decided to go ahead and go up to 250 waves thank you once again small dragon for helping us complete the 250 waves and that was pretty simple and after that we had our base set up for survive 1000 waves in multiple games and thank you once again viper for helping me out with that as well pretty much backing me up back to back with two skips helped us out a lot but we did have to wait a little bit unfortunately just because everyone didn't uh, transfer out of that team however it went pretty quick and for this one right here we decided to do the bunker mission before doing the last one we decided to leave mission 14 for the end did it pretty quickly in two bunker missions and from this point on this was the last mission skip to my highest and then we completed it so there you guys have it we completed it in three hours 53 minutes and i think it was six seconds but it took us a while to click the timer and thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and thank you once again to everyone that helped me out i hope you guys are really excited for the next clubhouse adventures take care everyone and thank you for watching Thank you.